Yo, matey, have ye ever wanted to be a pirate? Then ye wish is granted. Welcome members of the ever-growing VR horde, my name is Rex, this is Eyes on VR, and today we are on a swashbuckling adventure into the newly released game for PC VR called Furious Seas. It's available right now on Steam for £15, so stick around to the end and see whether this is worth the money. And for a quick bonus behind the scenes making of Furious Seas section somewhere in the video. Now get ye best pirate hat! parrot on your shoulder and even cut off one of ye legs and replace it with a wooden one because we're going sailing mateys Sailing your way through an open world map in a single player, multiplayer and survival mode. You'll sail the high seas with different boats, cannons and booty. I mean this booty. You heard of booty. Furious Seas has broken into a space in VR that has had very little attention. If you played Sea of Thieves and enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3 Naval Combat or Assassin's Creed Black Flag, you're going to get that same feeling here. Developed by Future Immersive, they have gone above and beyond. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and by the end, hopefully, I'll be in your good books and worth a subscribe for more PC VR and Oculus Quest reviews, comparisons, and anything VR, really. At all, apart from a little bit of water distortion. Oh, that black clipping, it's just because I'm playing wirelessly from PC to my Quest 2. That's just my Wi-Fi being a bit crap. I'll also link to the Furious Seas Discord in the description of the video. With that out of the way, let's put down the Onward 1.7 versus Onward 1.8 argument and check out these graphics right so what do we got bank of the caribbean here now look at the ocean wow with a mostly bright color palette unlike 1.7 1.8 and pavlov i've been looking at recently on the channel furious seas puts everything out there visually for you to see in bright light and it does not disappoint boats are nicely detailed when manning your ship the cannons are clear all the weapons and items are crisp and of course the ocean looks beautiful When sailing around, it can be quite a spectacle with all these waves crashing against the boat, against the islands that you're sailing past. They say there are two things in movies and games that are the most difficult to put into 3D, and that's water and fire. While Furious Seas has done both, not only the beautiful ocean to look at, but, but boy, oh boy, are the explosions nice. Some might say that's too much explosion, but for me, oh, it's just right. The only visuals here that let things down are the NPCs. They aren't quite on par with the rest of the visuals and could do with some more attention. Ah! Hey, so hey what's up, buddy? Clearly, future immersive's priorities have been on the naval combat and the ocean, which in a pirate game, I can get on board with that. Right now, first up, there's no background noise here. There is sounds. Hey. Way. So yeah, for some reason there's no background noise on the menus, which sucks, but if I add my own... Uh, isn't that just a thousand times better? Now let's talk sound. Hey, 
So you're looking for some gold and glory, eh? Set your eyes upon this here mission board. You'll find plenty of adventure and peril. The sound effect design here really amplifies whatever you're doing, from sailing the high seas to being a full-on naval battle. It sounds satisfying to destroy an enemy vessel and firing those cannons is great. Two special shout outs here as well. One to the voice actors for putting on their best pirate voices, but without sounding like caricatures like me. Welcome to me shop. Have a look at me wares. You can put whatever you wish to buy in the chest over here. Welcome to me shop. What are you buying? Also to the cannon type changing sound, which makes a sound and makes you feel like you're basically cocking a gun, which is a massive three barreled cannon. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. One thing that doesn't work in the game's favor, however, is the music design. No sea shanties yet, and I feel like Assassin's Creed Black Flag really set the bar for how much people love to hear that. I listen to that soundtrack a few times a year just for the fun of it, but it only has one backing track that I've heard so far, and it just loops around and around. It has quite a somber tone to it as well, and to its credit, it is oddly fitting. Whenever you purchase a ship, she's yours to keep for good. If you ever want to switch back, to one of your old shops. All you have to do is select her on the wheel over here, and I'll dock her out in front for you. And it does perk up, I assume, for combat reasons, but the music isn't dynamic. So just because you're in combat doesn't mean the music's gonna pick up, so it doesn't always line up with what you're doing. But that brings us on to the fun stuff, the weapons. I'll talk about the boats themselves in a bit, but we just spoke about the cannons, so let's talk about the weapons. You've got a good variety for a game in early stages. You have a cannon single shot, the always fun cannon double shot, a chain shot, which if everyone remembers their Assassin's Creed naval combat, they will know that that is for shredding enemy boats and sails. You also have water mines, their barrels on either side of you that you can throw overboard at any time. These are normally one hit kills, so they are very helpful when you are in big trouble. And for some reason, they're also like boat seeking barrels as well. You also get my favorite combat feature, which is... Come on then, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Grab it now! <laughs> it doesn't always take an enemy boat down in one hit, but you can see and feel that damage. That's a lot of damage. And your crew gets pretty excited too. The camera does change on you and this game isn't afraid to do that, but I'll get into that when we talk about gameplay. Bonus behind the scenes of Furious Seas. Now, I don't know much about Future Immersive as there isn't much about them online, but you can see from this footage that they are all in with Furious Seas. Doing your own motion capture is pretty standard in video games nowadays, but not so much in VR. Most companies buy pre-made mocap animations and then integrate them into their games. But Future Immersive have done it themselves. They've made their own mocap animations, and this is a really good sign as to what kind of developer that they seem to be. And I felt that that was worth mentioning. A link to their YouTube channel and the video will be in the description below. Let's talk about the boats or ye trusty ships. So you're not just stuck with one boat in Furious Seas. There's a ship merchant with a few boats to choose from right now, but I'm sure there will be more to follow. Your first ship is fine. It does the job for learning how the game works and getting used to the combat. You've got a couple of cannons and you can put up a good fight against enemy ships, but once you upgrade, oh man, do you feel it. The extra speed, the extra crew, the extra cannons, it really feels like an upgrade, especially with that lovely skull on your ship wheel. Now, I won't reveal the third and final ship right now, but believe me, oh, she is a beauty. Something to note here as well is the dynamic wind system that they have in Furious Seas. That's right, the sails aren't just for show. As you turn, the sails change their directions in the wind, and this also means that your direction depends how fast your boat goes. Sometimes you'll be facing a direction and you'll go faster, but other times it will make you slower, and this is something to definitely keep in mind, especially in a combat situation when you need to retreat or outrun another boat. I know. Left Shut up. I can't. Whoa! 
This game does have multiplayer and the devs say it's in very, very early access. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone on any servers to play with, so I can't tell you much about the multiplayer. Now, the Steam page is very clear. It says that the multiplayer is very early access in brackets. Not as polished as the single player. Ah, so many servers to see. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. All I do know from the Steam page is you can get your friends into the same server as you and you can sail the high seas together, whether that's on the same boat or your own separate boats, I'm not entirely sure. So what's the story of the single player here? Furious Seas be a tale of revenge. They took everything. My ship, my money, even my dead father's ring. Pillaged by the pirate league called the Crimson Bandits. I'm gonna hunt them all down, one by one. Think Shadow of Mordor here when it comes to that kind of captain system. Uh, now, I don't know whether you can see this. It's like dark blue in the middle, but then on the outsides, it's kind of like a light blue for the moonlight. I'm not sure what that's about. You'll take on grunts to get to the captains, but when you do get to the captains, you're always greeted by a surprise. Aye, matey, I'm ready to sail the high seas. Is that William? Is that Henry Avery? The pirate? Great story about Henry Avery. If you don't know it, go play Uncharted 4. You'll learn a lot. But this guy pulled off the biggest caper ever. He basically robbed all other pirates. It was amazing. I could go on, but that means this video would be like two hours long, at least. Sadie and Mary Bonnie. Oi, ladies, how would you like to join my crew? I said, damn. Are you seeing this? He's not looking. He's remaining totally professional, and I respect that a lot. Every main pirate character has their own unique and interesting personality, accompanied by their own sea shanty on most occasions. And that's not to mention that their boats are just as unique as their personalities themselves. <laughs> The gameplay. The gameplay loop of Furious Seas can be kind of samey and repetitive, but I can say after many an hour of playing it, I'm still not bored of it. As I said in the beginning of this review, that feeling you get from playing Sea of Thieves and Assassin's Creed naval combat, you feel that here as well. From firing the cannons to maneuvering your boat around enemy fire, even sailing through the open world is pleasant, and this map is quite sizable for a game in early access and definitely sizable for a VR game. You have a map behind you as well on the deck of your ship at all times where you can monitor where you are you can zoom in and out as well which is very helpful everyone is so unique when you go to hunt another bounty down it's always fun to see what kind of personality they'll have as i said before they aren't afraid to move the camera either but it's never at points that mess you up with what you're trying to do and it really amplifies certain situations and moments as well all while not making you sick and speaking of i never felt motion sickness once in this game and it has been stated that few Future Immersive spent a lot of time trying to get that right, so it's a pleasant experience for everyone. One of the issues I have here though is it's one of those games where if the game suggests something to you from a character, then they will just keep pushing and pushing and pushing for you to do that quite often until you've done it. And personally, I'm not a fan of that. If someone says, oh, you need to go over here to do this, I do it in my own time. I don't need them to tell me every two minutes because I'm not doing what they want. But this did turn out to be a rare-ish occurrence. I do have to point that out. The problem that kept coming up for me most was the cannon types. So you have cannons on each side of you to fire, but you can only have one ammo type in both at the same time. So I can't have double shot on my right and chains on my left. I have to have the same, but that means when I go to change ammo types, my crew take time to load their cannons too, and this can cost you big time when in combat. So that is something that I would like to see changed in the future. Right cannons, fire! Oh, I got it! What a shot! Why didn't she oh, no. save me? Oh no! I killed him and I died at the same time. Come on! We were so close. There's the battle. So, is it worth it? 
Furious Seas might be one of the most impressive VR title I have ever played. With its masterful water physics bright tone that hides nothing, all pierced together with extremely fun, satisfying combat experience, Furious Seas has had a lot of hard work put into it and it shows. The motion capture animations for your crew really cement them as real people on your ship, along with the cast of colourful bad guys in this open world to hunt. So is it worth the money? I say yes to that. I can't really put it down and I just want more and more out of this. Future Immersive have struck upon a part of the VR sector that is pretty barren, and even if it wasn't barren, I would probably say that they're still leading the way in pirate VR. Some things could be improved, and from what we've seen from Future Immersive as a developer, it seems like they're gonna be really committed to this, keep pushing for improvements, and really get this game to somewhere where you could compare it fully to Assassin's Creed Black Flag or Sea of Thieves. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. You're the best. Let me know in the comments section if you think that Furious Seas is any good and will you be picking it up? If you have made it this far, consider giving the video a like and I hope I've earned that subscription from you. And if I have, come and join the Eyes on VR Discord link in the description of the video. So with that, my name is Rex. This is Eyes on VR. This is the Furious Seas VR game. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Yeah! Yes, I'm gonna ram him. Oh, no, we're not. We're gonna slide. Whoa! Go! Get him! Death charge, go!